Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at three solar panels. This one has two individual panels. This one has four individual panels. And this one has 15 individual panels. The two panel is a 100 watt go for it. The four panel configuration is a 100 watt panel from Ugreen. And the 15 panel configuration is from All Powers. I'll have a link to all these descriptions unless, in case you want to look into them. And then I have my Blue Eddy EB3A over here that's going to be doing our testing. The test is going to be, first of all, what does, what does each one of these panels give? And then what I'm going to do, because there was a question, what would happen if I covered up one of these panels, like one of the 15? How much loss would I get? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to fold this up so it's exactly that size and we're going to see the loss and we're going to, I'm going to show you the percentage loss and then I'm going to do this exact same size on these other panels to show you what the difference is if you have a 15 panel, a 4 panel or a 2 panel. I mean does it really matter? Will you, will you have the same losses? What will happen? So let's get started. All right, first of all, let's find our base. We'll go ahead and start with the uh, 15 panel all powers, and we'll see what kind of power it's giving us to our EB3A. And full disclosure, um, the EB3A is actually powering the camera that I'm using right now. So uh, you'll see a DC wattage load of like four watts, but that, should not, that shouldn't cause any concern to what the experiment is. All right, I just plugged in the all powers. Let me put the uh, EB3A app on the screen so you can see it. And uh, I wanted to remind you that it is 11 o'clock in the morning in Illinois. So it's a cloudless sky and it's beautiful out here. Uh, it is right around 78 degrees. These panels have been out here for about 10 minutes soaking up the sun. All right, and it looks like our all powers is staying steady at 55 watts. So let's go ahead and put that on the screen. All right, next I just plugged in the four panel Ugreen uh, setup. All right, and it looks like we're holding steady at 67 watts. So that one is a pretty good performer so far. All right, so let's go ahead and unplug the Ugreen and plug in this two panel configuration go for it. All right, and the go for it looks like it is also holding tight at right around 53 watts. So the um, all powers and the go for it are right around 53, 54 watts, and the U Green is actually pulling out about 68 watts. All right, so I'm going to unplug the um, the go for it, and I'm going to plug the the all powers back in, and we'll get it up so it's stable. All right, so the uh, the the all powers panel, the 15 set configuration, is staying steady at 56 watts. So let's see what happens if we cover up with this dish towel right here. And it went down from 56 to 45 watts. So what is that? Uh, that's roughly a, I don't know, an 18 or 20% loss. Okay, let's unplug it. And now we're plugging in the Ugreen 100 watt panel. All right, and it looks like we're holding steady at 66 watts. So let's go ahead and take this, this dish towel and we're gonna set it right across the top here. And it went from 66 watts down to 36 watts. So that's a big deal. That's a lot more than I thought it would be. Uh, 37 watts. So, uh, I mean, that's like a 45% drop, I think. So from 66 to 37. Now we're plugging in the GoFort uh, two panel configurated portable solar panel. And it looks like it's holding steady at like 53 watts. So let's go ahead and put the towel on there again. And it went from 53 to 27. It basically cut it in half. I wasn't really too surprised, but it does make a big difference if you have a portable solar panel with a bunch of little solar panels or ones with only two because the ones that have only a couple solar panels and they're just you know bifolds if you get any shading on there it's really going to affect it a lot more than something that has multiple panels on it so if you have any questions about this video uh, go ahead and please leave them in the comments um, 
I'll have a link to these in my description just in case you want to look further into them. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.